In sphere of death, riders ride two-wheeler inside a hollow sphere. As you can see in this video, initially he starts with small horizontal circles and then start performing vertical circular motion. This motion is same as that of vertical circular motion of a point mass attached to a string. But the only difference is tension in the string is replaced by the normal reaction between the sphere and the vehicle. So to perform vertical circular motion in sphere of death, the rider must possess minimum velocity root rg at the highest position so that he will not lose contact with the sphere. see a motorcyclist performing vertical circular motion in sphere of death when he is at lowest position its weight mg is acting vertically downward and normal reaction between the sphere and the vehicle is in the upward direction when the vehicle moves at the topmost position that is at point a then you can see the weight of the vehicle is in the downward direction that is mg and the normal reaction between the vehicle and the sphere is also in the same direction similarly at point c that is mid position if you are talking then you can see the weight of the vehicle is acting vertically downward mg and the normal reaction is again here towards the center means that all the three points as you can see the normal reaction is directed towards the center another important point is that in order to complete the vertical circular motion in this sphere of death and the motorcyclist should not lose contact with the sphere for that his minimum speed at the topmost position must be root rg then only he is able to perform the vertical circular motion when the motorcyclist reach at the lowest position that is at point b then he must possess the minimum velocity at the lowest position that is root 5 rg and at mid position his speed must be root 3 rg if these are the speeds which are maintained by the motorcyclist in this sphere of death then he is able to perform the vertical circular motion in sphere of death <laughs>